okay so my video was too long but i really did some brown eyeshadow and some gold and because the bokka are playing today i am trying out this green eyeshadow pencil hopefully it will do the things that i want it to do i don't know if i'm not pressing hard enough but yeah so basically yeah people will just come up against you especially if it's something that they are not exposed to or a topic that they don't agree with because they are projecting from their personal experience and that's what my mother was telling me a lot especially like with the negative comments that i get she's like people will respond from their point of view in terms of what's going on in their lives and they will expect everything to be the same as other people they will expect you to have the same type of life the same type of outcome to make the same type of mistakes as if getting pregnant is a mistake and it really isn't. Getting pregnant is not a mistake. We all know that if you have unprotected tlof tlof, you're probably going to get pregnant. Condoms can break, all sorts of things, you know. So in that instant, with a man actually exercising his miso misogyny, because he didn't only state that I'm obsessed, he was like, you probably can't have children anyway. And infertility is really the first point of attack that someone will use because as soon as people are feeling defensive or intimidated in some way they want to also make you feel in that way you know it was basically the video where i was dancing that i thank god that i'm not a baby mama and he didn't allow me to become a baby mama so in some way he feels that i should not be dancing to that i should have been a baby mama i should have been caught up in the culture so instead of actually saying you know what wow that's really cool he decided to be defensive and go with the most predictable uh, thing that people that don't like others without children say you know you must be infertile and i've been hearing that also men are also getting the same responses like my child free community that are also men there's women also accusing them of being infertile and honestly this doesn't really bother me if i was infertile i would literally be partying the rest of the year away but it literally just shows that when it comes to women's autonomy and decisions, a lot of men don't really think that we have the right to have any decision over our body. A lot of women also, which is quite disappointing for the same women that want us to help them with their issues, also don't believe that we should have decisions over our own body and our lives. That we should all just succumb to being mothers and that it's not a choice but it's a requirement. And all in all, you know what, I'm not going anywhere. And I actually hope I do get to onto Twitter, you know. But if I get to black Twitter, I will know that my message is getting across there. No matter how much they can roast me. No matter how much what they can say, I am ready for the comments. I've been ready for about 17 years. People have been telling me the same old things. Like, you guys are not even creative. You can't even come up with new ways to try diss us. But yet you're out here trying to diss us on decisions that don't only that, that don't impact you. You know, when someone decides to have a child, that decision affects everyone around them, their family, their friends, their co-workers, their work environment, their church, everything. But when someone decides not to have children, it really doesn't affect many people. I mean, some people like your parents could be sad that they're not going to be grandparents, but you'll never really see someone being affected by the child free decision in a way that will change their life. It only really affects the person that's making the decision, you know, but somehow our decision is some sort of world wide war against humanity and probably it is a war against humanity because they want us to keep reproducing so that the work and labor force can keep going on so that there can be more people looking after their children after their grandparents and you know what this thing of your grandchildren will look after you it's not guaranteed guys you can't force anybody to look after you we're seeing more and more especially in south africa and the black community people leave their rural areas to go live in the suburbs and hardly come back to visit their parents So that's my look for the day i do like the the green but i think i should have put the green on the top but anyway it is what it is i'll show you my last or final look i also think it speaks to a lot of parents entitlement just because you are a parent no matter how old your child is you think you have the right to speak on what other people should be doing with their lives especially the fact that someone doesn't have children 
you know they treat us differently and in a lot of traditions i've actually experienced this where i've gone to some family traditional events and because i'm not married and i don't have children they basically view me as a minor no matter if i'm in i'm 32 so it really speaks to entitlement of the whole being a parent you think you have the right to monitor what other people do with their lives and expect them to do what you think they should be doing never mind the mess in the back but this is my final fit i'm ready join me live at 11 for 15 to 11 45 on my live session on TikTok, or you can stream through the Radio Panache website. See you in about an hour.